Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S21 and compare it against the Samsung Galaxy S22 and see which specific phone is the better one for you. Now I think the S22 is probably the better phone than the S21, but there's a lot of similarities here for sure and we'll definitely talk about that throughout this video. So if you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off side by side, the Samsung Galaxy S21, which did come out in 2021, does have on the front a 6.2 inch dynamic AMOLED display, and it is a very decent panel. You know, it's 1080p. It was a downgrade coming from the S20, which is very sad, but I think it still looks like a pretty decent panel. It's a flat display, hole punch display right there. I don't know why I got this pink color. I probably should have just got the white or black one or whatever other color they had. I don't know what made me get this one, to be honest. No, this is the first time I ever thought about that but it's a good panel, 120 hertz. And I would definitely say the S23 also, is like kind of the same type of panel. So I don't really think they've changed that much. Maybe these panels have gotten a little brighter or something like that. Other than that, they still look almost identically the same to me. The S22, on the other hand, has a little bit of a smaller, like a tiny bit smaller, 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display. And this one is also still very good. You know, it's a very decent panel. Maybe it looks like it can get brighter, but they're still at the, like spec at 1300 nits, so I don't know what that's about, but they both look very good. I've always had really, really, really good times with Samsung panels, and this one is no different. You're getting 120 hertz on both as well, which is nice, and definitely between both, I like I like them both. You know, they're both very solid panels. Now, in terms of thinness and thickness in the sides, there's a little tiny bit of a difference between the sides of both these phones. So you can kind of tell that with the Galaxy S23, we are getting this like, or S22, you're getting like this more flat side on the Galaxy S22. The S21 is like flat here, then it's like curved on the side. So it like curves inwards on the S21, which gives the impression that the S21 is a slimmer phone, which is something that I actually do like. With the S22, I think it's a pretty good phone, but I don't know. I feel like I do kind of like the S21, but I like the flat side more of the S22. It's more like a little bit more modern than what we're kind of used to. Now on the bottom, we're getting USB-C ports, we're getting SIM card slots right there. On the back, we are getting a little bit of a different back. So on the S21, you're getting this plastic frosted back, whereas on the S22, you're getting this like frosted glass back. Now feeling both, you can definitely tell that one is plastic. This is not the best plastic back they put on the S21, and you can clearly tell that. With the S22, you can tell this is glass. I will say though, with a phone like the Pixel 7a that I have here, I think Google did a better job on this type of plastic bag, even though it's not frosted, than on the than on a frosted plastic bag on the S21. So that was kind of interesting what's going on there. With the camera modules, you can also tell that the triple camera setup is slightly bigger on the S21 or on the S22. You're still not getting micro SD card slots in either one of these phones, but you are getting wireless charging and reverse wireless charging from both these devices, which I actually like a lot. And that kind of covers it. You know, there's definitely a lot of overlap here, and I definitely do like both of these devices, which is so beautiful. But personally for me, I definitely do think like a phone like a Galaxy S22 is a really good phone. You know, I think it looks good on the outside, but I think the S21, for it being significantly cheaper than the S22, may make a little bit more sense to buy too. Now, in terms of software and longevity, both of these phones are going to be still supported with software, but the S21 has a higher likelihood of still being supported for a longer period of time, meaning that the S21 is going to end off sooner than the S22. This is perfectly fair. This happens every single time any new iPhone or any new product comes out. So again, it's typical. It's nothing, anything crazy we haven't seen before. So it totally makes sense. There's not much we have to do about it there either. We're just going to have to wait. But basically, the S21 will end off sooner than the S22. Now, let's go into a speed comparison between both of these devices. With the Galaxy S21, we have the Snapdragon 888 chipset inside with 8 gigabytes of RAM. With the S22, we have the Snapdragon HN1 chipset inside with 8 gigs of RAM as well. So let's want to see which one's a faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background. So let's get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. The S21 is here, S22 is here. Let's do camera, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. I think the S21 was faster there. Taking a photo, it's going to happen here. Galaxy Store 321. Now there's going to be random pop ups and stuff. Actually, no, there wasn't. The S22 was faster there. Play Store 321. Okay, S22 was slightly faster there as well. Scrolling through, let's see if there's a big massive difference. And I don't really think there is. The S21, it's just kind of stopped loading there. Hopping out of here, we have some of these third party apps Snapchat 321. S21 was slightly slower. 
let's go ahead and do Quizlet, which I don't even have here, which is so weird. Now, all these games on this phone are under Game Launcher, which is insanely annoying. So I'm going to have to go ahead and basically load them up under Game Launcher. So I'll have to load them up here. Snipers Box, 3, 2, 1. Okay. I think the S21 was slightly faster there as well, which is very interesting. Hopping back out. Let's go back into here. Let's do Dune, 3, 2, 1. Okay, S22 is faster here. S21 is slightly slower. Let's go back into Game Launcher. Let's go into Fru Ninja. Three, two, one. Okay, this one might be a kind of interesting as well. And the S21 was a little bit slower there as well. Hopping back into Game Launcher. I don't know why the S22 is glitching up this much. It is very, very weird. Let's go and do Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. So a little bit of a glitch on both, I think, in the beginning with. They both kind of evened out a little bit towards the ending. Okay, perfect. They both were very, very similar. Going back into here. Let's go and do Stack, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I think the S21 was significantly faster here as well. The S22 being a little tiny bit slower. Let's go and get into Genshin Impact 321. Genshin Impact, as always, like I mentioned, it's a very, very large game. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to load up. But I do think with the S22, you're probably going to get a better experience. But when, when it comes down to the loading speeds, it's always been kind of interesting when it comes down to both. So you can see the S21 did kind of load up a little bit faster here than the S22. So that in and of itself is a very, very interesting thing too. So... When it comes down to it, surprisingly, I think loading speeds are very similar. Sometimes the S21 is faster, sometimes the S22 is faster. I don't know if there's a consistent winner every time, though. Now, getting into the camera side of things, I do think both cameras are very solid. You're getting triple camera setups on both wide, ultra-wide telephoto lenses. You're getting 8K capability on the back, 4K at 60 on the front, which is beautiful. Very solid cameras on both as well. Like I've always felt like both these cameras are very good, and there's no exception here between either one, to be honest. I feel like with the Galaxy S21 camera, this thing was very, very solid. So in this thing, you're getting you know, the ability of zooming in a lot, 30x zoom. You're getting 0.5x zoom on the outside too, which is pretty cool. And overall, it's a very good camera. It's basically exactly what you'd expect. You're getting more mode, you're getting under video, you're getting lots of options under more as well, which is really cool. Sit portrait video, super slow-mo, slow motion, hyperlapse, Tons and tons of stuff, so I'm really, really happy to see a type of camera on the Galaxy S21 like that, especially with the way it's been holding up for the last couple of years. With the camera on the Galaxy S22, I feel like this camera is very solid as well. 0.6x zoom here though, which is weird, it's less than the S21s, but you're still getting you know, a lot of zoom, you're still getting 30x zoom inside, so it's not really a big, massive deal. Still here though, you're getting video mode, you're getting more, and under more, you're getting a lot more options, which I mentioned before, is a really, really cool thing. So overall, to kind of sum up this entire video, what I'll tell you is I definitely do think the S22 has had a better, you know, at least throughout the year, last year than it probably when it first came out, if that makes any sense. This phone has a lot of improvement to do, but I do think in this day and age, like it's still a very, very good phone to pick up clearly. But I think the S21 is a little bit more surprising to me, mostly because I didn't really like this phone when it first came out. But now I kind of like it a little bit more because it's gotten so much cheaper and it is a, it is a very solid phone to pick up as well. So I would probably say if you're on more of a budget, the S21 might make more sense, but it's kind of up to you. You know, the choice is pretty much yours as of this point. If you have any other thoughts or questions though, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.